Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of NASCAR Heat 3 Career Mode. I hope you're all having a great day. Today we go to Martinsville for the Truck Series and Dover for the Cup Series. Obviously the Truck Series in this game, the schedule is not correct. It doesn't match up correctly with the Cup Series. But either way, we had subscriber Jordan Ronaldo in the car starting in about the 20th or so position. So not the best uh, qualifying effort. Uh, but he would move his way forwards a bit throughout this race, actually getting pretty aggressive, getting giving the bumper to many drivers throughout this race as he came towards now already on the final lap of this race. As he had moved up now into the 14th position behind the number 8 of John Hunter Nemechek as he went down the back straightaway for the final time, down into turn 3. He would look up the inside there, a very light move, but it might pay off there as it goes side by side through turn 3. And out of turn 4, Ronaldo, Ronaldo would come through to finish in the 13th position. So solid result for our subscriber of Jordan Ronaldo. I forgot to show the finishing order on the screen, uh, but now we set our sights on the Cup Series race here at Dover. Coming through in qualifying, down through turn three. I'd make a big mistake actually, as I would touch the apron, just trying to get too low on the track there. And unfortunately that completely destroys our lap. So now we will be starting at the back of the field here at Dover from the 40th starting positions. Hopefully we can move forwards and have a chance to win this race at the end. Today, the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series rolls into Dover, Delaware for the running of the AAA 400 Drive for Autism. Dover International Speedway, also known as the Monster Mile, is a track with banking so high, drivers often call it a roller coaster ride. In 2017, Jimmy Johnson rode this roller coaster to his 11th checkered flag, extending his own track record for wins. He is clearly not intimidated by Miles the Monster. Can the number 48 Lowe's Chevrolet do it again? Let's go trackside for the start of the race. All right, we're ready to go green here for the drive for Autism 400 at Dover now as Martin Truex Jr. He still hasn't forgotten us now as Kevin Harvick is starting on the pole position as we get ready to go green with Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Also starting at the back after failing technical inspection as we do jump up one spot due to Stenhouse falling back with the issue Carter with inspection, so we get ready to go green from P39 here in Dover now as the green flag is out and we are underway here in Dover. Kevin Harvick leads the way as we head down towards turns one. We have a lot of work to do in this first stage if we want to get up and get some points now as we go through turns one and turns two for the first time. I'm immediately going to jump up to the top because there's so much speed up top, obviously, when we're this far back in the field. Obviously, when we get up towards the top uh, 15, top 20, it's going to be a much tougher to make this outside line work but definitely we can do it now early on in this race as we come out of turn four three wide with Stenhouse and Deegan as we exit the, the turn four down towards turns one now on the outside of Ryan Truex and Haley Deegan comes through still on the bottom there as we exit turn two so just quickly moving our way forwards here now as we gain a few positions on this opening couple laps as we go down into turn three you got Parker Kligerman and uh, Brendan Gunn up ahead side by side now Kligerman clears Brendan Gunn as we exit turn four closing in on the back of the 55 of Sorensen, we would have to bank out of it there with 27 to go in the, the first stage now as he went down through turns one making a three wide again being aggressive here early but obviously that's what we have to do considering the position I put myself in now it came to lap seven we had moved up into P26 continuing to move forward now as we have big trouble up ahead is the 22 of Joey Logano who goes hard into the wall and the green flag would actually stay out there you see me go past on the outside and we move up into P24 so the green flag stays out we continue moving forwards on the outside now to P19 as we came to lap 10 P18 now passing Paul Menard looking to the outside of Jamie McMurray as we go down towards turn 3 behind Matt Benedetto now as we have a spinner behind and this is the 37 of Chris Busher who we just passed a few laps ago and now this time the caution comes out for a less a severe incident. Either way, we would not come to pit road. We would go straight back to the green flag from P18 now on the outside of Jamie McMurray here. 16 laps in the first stage that remain at this point. A wild little bit of a couple laps there with Logano crashing into the outside ball and Chris Busher spinning into the infield. Logano, he would be out of this race. He would not be able to continue. You would see him sitting on pit road every time we come down through the front straightaway now as we go through turns three and turns four. Looking to the outside of Ryan Newman now as we exit the corner heading down the front straightaway we continue
continue to just move our way forward. This came to 14 to go up to P16, looking to the outside of Eric Jones. And now we would get through to the outside of Denny Hamlin up in 14th now, trying to pass Hamlin for 13th. But unfortunately, we really wouldn't go anywhere after that as we came through with just two to go on the stage. Stuck on this top line, we had just been barely ahead of Hamlin, only in the P13 still as we cross the line to start the final lap here in stage one. Martin Truex Jr., our rival, up ahead as we go through turns one and turns two for the final time in this first stage. Suarez looking to the inside of Truex, but now Truex stays clear as we go down towards turns three for the final time here in stage one. McMurray on my inside, Hamlin just behind now as we're going to come through turns three and now on the exit of turn four, McMurray might edge us out as we come through, crossing the line, we edge him out and get P12 in the first stage. So Kevin Harvick, he would win stage one to pick up a playoff point. Harvick still looking for win number one on the season to lock himself into the playoffs. He would pit for two cans of fuel and four tires. Everybody else would do the same as we get ready to go green. Behind our rival of Martin Truex Jr., obviously a bit of a run-in with him at Talladega. Hopefully we don't have that today, but it certainly might happen now as we come through to start this second stage here in Dover Suarez. On the inside behind us, we got McMurray and Denny Hamlin as we go down towards turns one. 27 laps in the second stage on the front row. It's Harvick and his Stuart Haas racing teammate of Eric Almarola leading the way and we have our Hendrick Motorsports teammate of Chase Elliott up there in the third position as we go down into turn three. Alex Bowman just ahead of us as well. Another teammate of ours as we come through turns three and turns four on the outside of Damian McMurray just on the back bumper right now of our rival of Truex. We back out of the throttle though to get myself to the inside as we go down towards turns one right behind Jamie McMurray in the number 40 cars. Hamlin looks to my outside for a brief moment there as we exit turn two heading down the back straightaway. Harvick clear for the lead as Chase Elliott, our teammate, moves up into the second position. Kyle Busch third, and Almarola drops to fourth early here in this second stage. We close right on the back of McMurray, now trying to look to his inside as we head down the front straightaway, coming through with 25 to go, but he stays clear as the AI is much faster than me at the end of the straightaways, but we will continue on this bottom lane, and we would get into a top 10 position behind our rival of Martin Truex Jr., trying to make it move a move to the outside of him, because if I try to make a move to the inside, it's likely not going to work. He's going to try and push me onto the apron, so we try to make it on the outside now as we come out of turn two side by side with the rival of Truex and he's going to put me into the wall immediately now as we go down towards turn three so we would fall in behind him giving a little bit of a bump to him letting him know we didn't like that but we would again try to make a move on the outside here a few laps later now as you see me coming out of turn two side by side again with Martin Truex Jr. he would once again put me in the wall and then fortunately this time the other cars behind me got to my inside so we fell backwards after this happened because I was not able to get back to the bottom now sitting P11 uh, trying to hold on to P 11 over Jamie McMurray who has taken that spot away from me so just in a rough position right now as we came to 10 to go in the second stage and unfortunately we continue to fall down the order on this outside lane down to p15 as we were approaching the final lap now in stage two closing in on the back of Kozlowski as we might have a chance to look to his inside as we go down through turns one but certainly we need to get past Truex if we want to have a chance today because he was holding me up quite a bit there making it known that he still does not like me now as we go down the back straight away for the final time here in this second stage sending it to the outside of Kyle Larson but not quite able to get there now as we exit turn four so p14 is what it's going to be now as we come out of the corner but no Kozlowski edges me at the line but we still get credited with P14 surprisingly as Kozlowski had me as we crossed the line but I guess uh, maybe the caution got called just before that happened but we would take two cans of fuel and four tires Harvick win stage two and Chase Elliott still on the outside there in second place as Kyle Busch and Almarola are on that second row now as we're ready to go green and stage three is underway here in Dover. Can we get up to a top ten? It's not been the greatest race here. Uh, we got up into the top ten earlier but when Truex uh, got into the side of me obviously that was a big setback. So if we didn't just get past Martin Truex Jr. then we could be a legitimate contender hoping that it really stays green for the most of this final stage because we know a lot of traffic will uh, play into my favor quite a bit now as we go down through turn three pushing it up a little bit wide there as we came through turns three and turns four on the exit of the corner getting to the inside though clear of Menard as we cross the line looking to the inside of the Fenix driver of Denny Hamlin as we go through turns one and turns two side by side with Hamlin Harvick clear for the lead over Kyle Busch as Elliott falls down to that third position now as we go down towards turn three looking to the inside of Kurt Busch and the Monster Energy one car. 
And now that we've gotten to this bottom lane, it would be a big opportunity for myself to move forwards throughout the field here as we try to look to the inside of Kozlowski, but not quite having the momentum that I needed there as we went down towards turns 1 to 36 to go in this race, passing our Hendrick Motorsports team out of Alex Bowman as we look to the inside of Kozlowski on the exit of turn 2, down the back straightaway, and we will go through to take over the 10th position from him, and we will continue moving forward up into P8 now as we came to lap 68, just over 30 laps to go at this point. Now putting the pressure on McMurray as we exit turn four, going a little bit wide though so he keeps ahead of me now as we cross the line to hit lap 69 with 32 laps to go at this point. Hamlin just behind me as we go through turns one and turns two. The caution is going to fly though here in Dover. We would not have to come to pit road and now we're going to be starting behind our rival of Martin Truex with Kyle Busch on the first or in P1 as the green flag is back out. Now Harvick and Amarola both have fallen back so they are now behind us now as we cross the line 29 that laps remain and the reason Kevin Harvick has fallen back is because he was leading at the time of the caution I've got to show that part he actually pitted for some reason uh, with a few other drivers so he is all the way to the back his race has been pretty much destroyed due to his own call to pit now as we go through turn three and turn four on the inside of Clint Boyer big one on the exit of turn four we need to try and take advantage and look to the inside of our rival of Martin Truex Jr. there as we cross the line going down towards turns one there's contact with Truex and sideways we go now onto the apron as we're in trouble now as we rejoin the track some Somehow not crashing, but we do have bumper to the damage after that as we head down the back straightaway. We just cannot get away from Martin Truex Jr. recently here in our career mode. I looked to the inside of him and it just did not go well. Now as we fall back to P11 at this point, we would get in line and get to the inside. Start passing cars again, including Kozlowski, Jamie McMurray, now Kurt Busch back up into the 8th position. Looking to the inside now of our teammate Chase Elliott as we go down the front straightaway with 23 to go at this point. And thankfully, we were starting to close in on lap traffic. We look to the outside and now Danny Hamlin from the 7th position with 20 to go. And we try to make this work because the inside just wasn't working. I couldn't get to the inside, so I had to try and make the outside work. And like I said, we were starting to close in on lap traffic, and now you see as we came to lap 88, getting in to the lap traffic as we look to the inside of Reed Sorensen. That was three wide now as the leader of Kyle Busch being held up right now behind a few laps, cars of Joey Gase and Haley Deegan. And now we're up inside the top five once again here in Dover with 12 laps to go. And Kyle Busch looks to the outside and he's going to be able to get past those lap cars as we look to the outside of our rival of Martin Drake Jr. and pass him now as we might not have to worry but now he's going to get up to the top so now we might be in trouble as we go down into turn 3 Bush clear and he is able to drive away as Truex is all over our back bumper now as we exit turn 4 side by side with Haley Deegan as Truex is pushing me as we go down towards turns 1 and is going to give me a bump into the corner and is going to hit me again up the hill we go and Truex takes over the second position. Certainly didn't enjoy that hit from Truex, but as we came through and now a lap later, a lap 91 still just behind him. As we try to stay in this race, we have to get past him if we want to get to the 18 of Kyle Busch. So now as we come out of turn four, maybe a chance to look to the inside of Truex, but not quite close enough as we need to make the move. We're running out of time very quickly here. And over now is our chance as we go through turns one and turns two. As he's going to try and push us on the apron, but we make through the corner without getting crashed side by side as we go down into turn three up the inside again of Truex and we make contact as we collide through the center of turn three and turn four and he crowds me down to the air but in sideways we go and Hamlin comes through to hit me into the inside wall and up the track we go into the outside wall and that damages the car to the point where we are going to have to retire from this race 11 seconds of repairs just enough to DNF us from this race obviously like I say over 10 seconds and we DNF and Kyle Busch did win this race. We DNF with less than 10 to go. I had to get past Martin Truex Jr. and obviously him being a rival we knew what was coming but I had to make a move and try something. I looked to the inside uh, in turns one and turns two and it didn't go as bad as I thought it would. We got out of turn two without crashing and I tried it in turn three but unfortunately he closed the door so much that we just collided. He went sideways and we just both uh, just can, can continued to collide through the corner and unfortunately we got the worst end of it into the outside wall. I tried my best to hang on to it but I just kind of overcorrected a bit and ended up in the outside wall pretty much head on and that took us out of the race unfortunately. So our first DNF in quite some time and our definitely obviously our first DNF of the season but as always if you guys enjoyed this episode make sure to comment like and subscribe revenge is definitely going to be coming here to martin Truex jr in the future now so uh, you can definitely keep that or expect that to happen so i will see you guys though in the next episode we do have another truck race that will be for dover uh, so we'll see how that goes so i will see you guys in the next episode thank you for watching everybody and have yourselves a great day